I don't think we're going there. Do you have any idea where we're going? No? We are going to Trochala. Oh, we almost fell. Yeah, he was almost getting grumpy as well because I took him away from his broom. Uh, there's his broom. He loves playing with the broom. We are uh, back in Trochala with my parents and now we're going to go down to Platania. Oh, I completely forgot. Good morning, afternoon or evening, what is up? My name is Marta, this is Jason, there's Ilona, there's my mom, there's my dad as well in the back. And there's the lead. And there's what? The lead for his sipping cup. The lead, the lead for his the sipping lead. cup. You mean that lid that I just uh, put on the table because it yes. fell off? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ilona knows better, but uh, we're Ilona's going by smart. two cars I see also. Why? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Here, take your son. Are you going to stand in the car, dude? <sighs> oh. There we go. Because of that reason we're going by two cars. <laughs> See, today the, the time changed and he should actually already be in bed, but he's not in bed. So And we cannot just stick around and do nothing, so we're going to try to drive down. Usually he falls asleep in the back of the car, on this road at least here. And uh, we are getting out of this area because as you can see it's very nice and green. A lot of wild pigs, a lot of hunting also at this moment, literally. We had grown, uh, like at least counted at least 20 gunshots around that area. There's a lot of dogs around down there. And on that side there are also hunters on this little ledge here down there they are just like pushing the pigs towards the valley towards the valley where they're hunting them down it's like this system that they have a couple of guys stand up there push the pigs down and then down in the valley they get shot or the other way around actually i think the other way around because you can shoot better from anyway we've got an overpopulation of wild pigs here so don't think that they're just doing it for sports yes they like hunting but here i don't mind it that much in all honesty Platania. Not even two weeks have passed since the last time we were here. Dina was still open, there were still people sitting outside, there were still people sitting outside. From Because this house, uh, there lived the dude that has a little boat that goes straight to Micro, for example. Everything was open. Now it's literally, I think one place that's only open, maybe two places that are still open. Uh, there's sand again here from like the big waves that hit up here. In the winter, this entire area is full of sand. It's barely like, sometimes it gets like broken up all the way as well. It's back to the ghost town. From like summer nice holiday vibe to weird ghost town. But we're still going to the beach because the beach will always be there and it's nice weather as well so.
I just, uh, it's very windy by the way, as you can see in the, the flag in the background. It's super windy. That's okay, on the beach, if, as long as you don't get wet, it's very nice. But you also don't get for your pleasure anymore in this water. I mean, I'm standing right now with my feet in the water. And Jason also wanted to be in the water a little bit because, well, he's Jason and he loves water. Huh? It's lekker. It's so nice. The only thing is that he does not know that this is now super cold. And I don't know. It's not for your pleasure that you go in here. Let's put it like that. Let's keep looking. Probably if you go at Parasitico because this is the Aegean, it will be a lot better. But uh, what? What are you? It's a nice day though, it's a very nice day. But uh, Jason fell asleep already in the car as you can see also. And he's uh, not the happiest right now, but it's okay. Oh, nice. You do not want to step in that bad boy. You do not want to step in that. That's painful. And I know, not here, <laughs> but at Plaikis and near Volos I've stood in one. Sorry? I think it is a good temperature. It's a good temperature, yeah. drive in. You've got underwear, right? No. no. Walked a couple of times up and down on the beach with Jason. He was about to fall asleep. And uh, then we decided, you know, we're going to uh, eat something. So Ilona's walking down there right now. But she took my shoes, she said. But I only have one shoe. And because she was taking the carriage back up on the boulevard, my shoes should somewhere be on the, str on the beach. But it's, n it's not really a nice color to look for on the beach. And luckily it did not fall in the water, I hope at least. Oh wait, I see it. Oh my goodness. There it is. My socks are in there? Yes. Oh, luckily. Imagine if they would float away to somewhere over, over there. I mean, they're just some cheap shoes, but that doesn't mean that I don't mind losing them because they're super comfortable as well. I bought them at the bazaar in Almiro. I'm hungry. Shoes back on. Let's eat. Mm. Did you sleep well, dude? Finally, after trying for hours and hours, yeah, we're trying side? to eat something. And but for something. him, eh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Did you sleep nice? Did you walk with grandma up and oh, down? <laughs> yeah, okay, then. My mom has been walking around all the time with him. Now finally we're sitting and we waited for half an hour for a salad, but it's okay. And there's a lot of flies, but most of the flies are gone now. How come? <laughs> the moment I say that, I, they come back. Because what? Put my shoes on. <laughs> you want your puppet? You want your puppet? Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh, you cannot see it that well, but there's a ton of fish in there. But you can see it especially if you throw some little bit of Oh, there's an eel. There's a little eel swimming there. You see it, do see them. Especially when there's a lot of fish, then you really can see the water go crazy. I don't care if you're 32 or if you're five years old, this will always stay nice. Just feeding a fish like that or a duck or something. Ducks the same, but ducks don't feed ducks dry bread. Always give them wet bread because otherwise their stomachs are going to get ruined. As you eat too much bread, they sink. Yeah, if you feed them too much, they sink. Yeah. We're back up on the mountain in uh, Trochala, and it's actually getting kind of chilly. In all honesty, it definitely is like because you're so much higher than at sea level down there, where it's, it was windy, but it was not cold. The higher we're up here, I think we're at four, five hundred meters high or something. Not, or maybe not, not that much. I don't know. Who hoogst it here? That's what I mean. Two hundred and twenty meters, but you, ah, you definitely notice that it's a lot cooler uh, up here, and that's okay. I mean, it's nice, especially in summer, that it's a lot cooler here. But it also means that uh, you need to uh, dress. Well, <laughs> and also Jason, of course, needs to have a vest on up here. He's already wearing long sleeves the entire day, but it's it's chilly. It's chilly enough actually for him to uh, wear something long and thicker. 
It's a thin wind. Yeah. Uh, what's a thin wind? It goes through your clothes. Ah, it's chilly. So curious. He wants to help us out all the time. He's now got the broom also because we set this a little bit dirty. So I wanted to broom it up and I grabbed the broom and he's already got it in his hands as well. I don't mind it because that means that I don't need to do it. And he's playing anyway. Nee, nee, nee. Nee, nee, nee. Did you poop? Oh, maybe. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh. Jason, stand. Hey. <coughs> You're right. Eén, twee. <coughs> Character. <coughs> Hij je erin. Goed zo. As you can see, he does not like to wear long stuff. <coughs> Nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. Sometimes. Jason, you not that. Foof, kaka. Foof. Here, take your broom and go clean. Hey, nee. Vies buik. Jesse. He uh, is enjoying. It's a little chilly. It's all worth it. I mean, if you have this view, you know, like the sunset you just watch and everything. It's perfect. Just been sitting here, watching a little bit of YouTube also, but... Uh, just While to... I'm walking up and down all the time. It's not true. I've been looking on not for just... him. And yeah. then you were breastfeeding. I cannot do anything of no. those. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> See, it's a little chilly. <laughs> not Jason. <sighs> but it's... He, his, his molars are coming through, so he wants to chew on anything that's like large and reaches all the way in the back. But he's biting on the weirdest things. He okay. bites on cabinets as well, so... Huh? Uh, whatever is clean. Uh, whatever is near, yeah. whatever um, is near, he will bite in it. Yeah, but not in one of his favorite toys, which is the broom, dude. If you only know how how lucky you are, but I won't say by standing here, but I jinxed it by laying here, and he's getting up again. He's a strong boy. He doesn't cry that fast. He's very like he bumps everywhere, but he's he just running. literally rolled over because from laughing and everything, and he bumped his head on the concrete here. Nope, just got up again. He's a strong, independent boy. Yeah, not like his mom. I'm a strong, dependent woman also. No, I hate bullshit. Shut up. But it's so nice to sit here with him. You can play so nice outside. No smelly factory of volos. No loud neighbors. No nothing. We're not loud neighbors. For other people here? We're, we're not even that loud here. You cannot yet with loud here, but we have no neighbors here almost. Exactly. So we are loud neighbors. Then, then you are not neighbors if you don't have neighbors. If there's nobody next to you, you're not neighbor. Yeah. But still, in Australia, you've got like these areas where it's at least 15 minutes flying before you find your first neighbors. He's gonna throw down his microphone. Are we gonna wait for him to do it or? Opa. Yeah, those spikes are very nasty. Yeah, I don't like it either. Jason. The gate is like all for him and the dog also not to walk away. Nah, it's... Uh, a little bit on the sharp edge. No. It's, it's actually for a boy that's a little bit older, but it's nice. He can walk around yeah, here, can do whatever he wants to. A little bit older that can mm. climb on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, true, because he, if he's like two years old, he'll probably start climbing and we'll be like, don't climb. Yesterday I said no to that rock, so don't grab it today as well. It's gonna chill here a little bit more. That's all that's necessary. Why not? Who says, who says that? We order food. Yeah. My mom thinks we only or, uh, eat biological chicken. Yes, else you wouldn't eat other chicken. No, we, well, we make sure that for him we have special chicken always. Yeah. 
like some clean chicken. Not and for, little, and we funny. barely b I eat chicken in general. But I'll go. Dude, <laughs> tape is stuck to his hand. And now it's stuck to his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit nice to be sadistic to watch yourself. <laughs> not sadistic, he's not hurting himself really. So, late for Mark in English, how do you say that? Torturing. Amusement by someone else suffering. It's not suffering, he's not suffering. Struggling. So, yeah, and struggling. at the tournament through struggling. down for a second to Pladanya because I want to make some nice uh, night photos I'm going to try it at least I've never done it uh, but if you want to see them also if they worked out at least and you want to see them then oops, knock the camera like there in the harbor for example I think it's going to be pretty it's gonna be the first time that I'm really trying to make good night pictures so I'm gonna try to make them if it turns out okay, it's going to go on the Volus Vibes uh, Instagram page or on my Instagram page. So if you like the vlog, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below because love reading will always reply. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next one. Bye. <laughs>